Hey guys, what's going on? Oh my god, it's Meat Wagon in real life! Yes, it's me. For all of those of you who have not seen me in real life, here I am. Um, I've done some videos before with my face on it. I did a spotlight video on NGT, but a lot of uh, new subscribers since then. So I wanted to come on, say, hey, here I am, show you guys. Uh, I can do a lot more of these if you want. I wanted to thank you guys for my last video. I put up a quality test video and I got a, a lot of good feedback. More comments than on probably most of any of my other videos. So I want to come on here and just say I really appreciate that. And uh, a lot of you guys asked what I look like. So this is me. This is Meat Wagon. This is what I look like. And uh, I've been having a great time making videos. Uh, real thankful that my channel is growing and all the stuff I'm doing over at Next Gen Tactics. And I thought maybe just uh, for this first video I'd show you something a little special since this is kind of in response to all the great feedback I got for my uh, quality test slash sniper video I've got a, a special little item here I want to show you guys and um, what this is is this is my sniper rifle I wanted to show you guys that I know a little bit about sniping in real life this here is a R700, this is a Remington 700 sniper rifle. It's got a free floating barrel. I put an Accuracy International stock on it with the thumb hole as you can see here. And it also then gives it a detachable magazine, which is nice. Instead of having to, with the scope on, it's hard to feed the bullets down inside with the scope in the way. So Accuracy International stock, R700 in caliber's 300 Win Mag. I've got a Springfield Armory scope on here, which is a 10 by 56 mil dot. I know these are a lot of terms that maybe you guys don't know, but that's all right. Just giving you a little bit of detail. Everybody likes specs. This is actually a range finding scope. It's got mil dots across the crosshairs, so you can actually judge the distance of your shot. Like uh, it'll be an average human has so many mil dots across its shoulders at a certain distance. So if you count how many dots are across someone's shoulders at a distance with this, it'll tell you approximately how far they are away from you. Uh, I've shot this thing out to a thousand meters accurately. You can reach out and knock on someone's door with this thing a long way away. It is pretty beastly, but you know, it's light, but I don't know, you know, I don't know about that mm, quick scoping thing on this. You could try it. I don't know, but there it is. There's a real life sniper rifle for you. Cheek rest, bipod, this thing, it's uh, the barrel's parkerized. It's uh, pretty beastly. It's all tactical black. This right here, man, I'm telling you, this is a fun gun. So anyway, what do you, anyway, anyways, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about real life sniper rifle? Would you guys like to see me go out and shoot this thing maybe? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you like this. You want to see more in real life stuff from me? Like the video. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, this is basically just me coming on to, uh, to tell you guys thanks for, for all the support you've showed me. And, uh, you know, I got to apologize. I don't have a good camera with uh, audio and all that for filming me. All my money has been spent on recording actual gameplay. So, this quality is not the greatest. The audio is bad. I know it's echo. It's in my living room. So um, if you guys like this stuff and I end up doing a lot more of these things, I'll you know invest the money in trying to get either a, a mic that will plug in into this thing or maybe a better camera. You know, money's tight for everyone. So I can't just blindly go investing money in that if I'm not going to use it a lot. So um, yeah, I hope you guys like seeing my sniper rifle. I tell you what, I've got to... Uh, I've got a big collection of guns. I've been a gun collector for, for many, many years. And if you guys, it's not the easiest thing here in California to go out and shoot guns like this. I've got to go pretty far out into the desert to shoot these things. So it's almost, you know, it's basically a full day, a couple hours out, shoot them, a couple hours back. But if you guys would like to see some of that, and I get, you know, a lot of good feedback, I'll put together a little trip and I'll go out and uh, shoot some of this stuff. Maybe uh, set up some uh, zombie targets with exploding heads on it. Snipe them. Get the shotguns going. Get the pistols out. The tack knife. All that stuff. I've got it all. I've got quite the arsenal. 
But uh, like I said, it's a, it's a hobby. It's a collection I like to do. Some people collect dolls. I collect guns. I collect sniper rifles. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about this. This is, uh, you know, like a, what do they call these things? Vlogs, a video log, whatever. If you guys like this, you want to see some more of it. I mean, not just, not just off the wall stuff, but, you know, when something comes up or we want to go shoot or do something like that, let me know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Again, I apologize for the poor quality, but this is all I got to work with for now. I got this and I got this. Yeah, baby. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.